Okie dokie, y'all. So, is it time to get ready for fall gardening? We got seeds. So, I wanted to show you how um, we plan to start our seeds this year. Simple, simple. In this bucket, I have just some soil that my husband got a bag of soil outside and some peat moss he was soaking. So I borrowed some of his soil and peat moss. I got this just because I can put all of my own trays on here. So my husband bought these. They are nice. They'll last for a few years. I'm going to put six in here. It is hot, hot, hot outside. So, you know, when is fall going to start for us? That's the big question. But we want to go ahead and get our seeds started so we can have good starts. This is saving money. Good starts. So I'm going to put six trays in here. Um, you also want to know what you are, what am I growing? Oh, let me put these in too. These sleeves go in. So each cell, I'm going to put a seed in. So 12 starts per tray. We want just that much broccoli, cabbage, it's brassica season. You know, hopefully it'll cool off enough for us to get this done. <laughs> so this i'm just using this box because it's easier to carry easier to move around whatever i need to do i don't need to use no heating pad it's 100 degrees outside i got my seeds so we know that um we are gonna grow corn so we did find out that sweet corn like cooler weather so we're gonna replant corn and i think my husband will direct so that soon I did pull some seeds because we know peppers, tomato, watermelon, stuff like that, we're not worried about. Right now, we want to grow these brassicas, cabbage, broccoli, kohlrabi, short day onions. We do want to grow short day onions and I want to grow some more salad and of course other things. But these are the seeds we're going to start right here, right now. So we can put our handy dandy box up these things are handy y'all you can label it everything is there i know what's in here and i got an abc order beans broccoli cabbage carrots corn cucumber flour herbs lettuce melon onion okra pepper sunflower tomato watermelon i need about three more of those however something else we're gonna do different this year labels gardeners are terrible and you you Stop lying to yourself because I do it every year and I say, oh, I know what tomato that is. And I plant four different kinds of tomatoes and then I'm like, oh, shoot, I can't remember. What was this one? Let's label our stuff. Let's be great fall 2023. Label, label, label. I got labels and an ink pen. So I got my seeds. I got my trays. We got the top to go on the dome to give them that greenhouse effect. Labels. So, I'm going to bring it in. We got our soil. I'm going to bring it in a little closer so you can see too. Alright, so I'm going to get one of my trays. I'm going to go ahead and fill it. Well, it would be better. I'm going to drive myself crazy with all this dirt. If I fill it like this. And the bucket all right so we got this one filled pack it down because I want to make sure there's no pockets or holes so you know we are zone 8b and we have to pretty much play it by ear because it can be in the 80s and 90s until October November December like last year so we don't want to put our brassicas out too early so let's start with my favorite rock let me tell you if you ain't never had no fresh homegrown broccoli oh my god you don't know what you're missing so I'm gonna drop two seeds in each hole just in case one don't germinate 
Then I'm gonna close these holes up just by raking what's here right back over the hole. And then the most important part, I'm gonna get my labels. Broccoli. And I'm gonna put the variety because it's so many varieties. So this way, you know, you'll know I ain't care too much for that variety. So let me not go that variety again. And I'm just gonna stick it in here. Voila. Seed starting. I water this in. These have holes in them. And the green pot doesn't. So the green pot will catch my water. That way they'll get water. But when I water, I will probably just lift my tray up and dump my water in the bottom and water from the bottom. I can be a little heavy handed. So I'm gonna put some water in here. I'm gonna put the dome on here. So I probably will just take my um my label to the dome. Okay, Trudy, hold on, I'm gonna talk to you in a minute. Here we go. Now we got broccoli done. Labeling, labeling is important and timing is important. So, you know, pay your weather attention, know your zone, which you should be planting in the fall and winter, and you should be good to go. Always ask questions. I always say that too. Ask questions, you know. So, let's get these trays done. We got five more to go. Roll those, roll. Alright, so, <laughs> so proud of us, we have labels, we have starts, y'all, I don't know if you saw the price of starts last year, seeds, save seeds, when you grow stuff, let it go to seed at the end of the season, because you need those seeds, it give you free food, for years, years and years. Very inexpensive. I mean, we bought these trays, but you don't have to. The trays that you get from takeout food, use them. They got the lid on the top. Use them. They are perfect. Perfect. They come with whatever you're purchasing already. And they will do great for your seed starting. Succession planting is important. You know, because you don't want to go and harvest everything all at one time. So... I'm starting these now, maybe in two weeks, or when these sprout, I'll start some more seeds. So, for right now, I think this is a great start. Our succession plant, that way we'll have some um, throughout the season. Buy starts. Never be ashamed of buy starts. Do what you have to do to grow your own groceries. When you grow it, you know it. All right, fam. So I wanted to show y'all, but <laughs> three days later, I start kohlrabi, broccoli, cabbage. So I got them labeled. Remember I said labels are important. Look at this. Three days. I said I'm outside. It's hot out here. So how to start a fall garden for free. This thing is just an old fruit container. I got another one back here. Takeout container. <laughs> For free. And seeds can be free. You can win them on different YouTube channels or, you know, different places you can win seeds. Um, and keeping seeds from things you get from the grocery store. Doesn't have to cost you a thing. You can even get your dirt out the yard. So, that's um, go to cola and this is comfrey. I dropped a bunch of comfrey seeds. So, just wanted to give y'all a update on date number three.